It's midday. The Sue Solo way on Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107.9. I got the man with the voice, the Mister versus. What are you doing? I'm talking about Mario <laughs> in the building. Hey, Mario. Mario. Oh, what's happening? I wasn't ready for that. You just took me back to my childhood. Okay, so Mario is <laughs> outside with new music. Obviously, you yeah. have never stopped touring. You've never yeah. stopped performing. The people have never stopped loving you, which is honestly kind of crazy because the attention span of people now is yeah. very minimal. Extremely yeah. minimal. But here you are talking about something that I think, and maybe I just perceive the song in my own personal way, but you're talking about a subject that is hot right now. Can you tell us what your new song, Main One, yeah. with Tyga and Lil Wayne is actually about? Because I can say what I think. What you think? I'm going to say that first, and then I'm going to tell you what I it's think about. it's about polyamory. I think it's about, uh, you know, living your, your true life and not having to withhold yeah. desires, even within a relationship, being yeah. able to talk to your partner about what it is that you actually need to feel fulfilled. Yeah. Um, that, that's what I took from it. Fire. I mean, listen, the beautiful thing about music is that, you know, a lot when I write, a lot of times I leave things up to interpretation mm-hmm. a lot. And I've been releasing music. I never stop releasing music. You know, it's just some of your music go and some of it's just like more underground. But I got a song called Like Her Too that's out. And you listen to it, you might think I'm talking about a threesome, right? But I'm really just talking about the other phases of a woman. You know, like I like you, but I like her too. Mm-hmm. Like when you switch it, you might put something sexy on, you might have an alter ego, I like her too, right? But main one is really an honest conversation and a, a it's honestly about like not having a toxic beginning relationship with somebody where you lying and kick it. I don't gotta lie to you about my lifestyle. I don't gotta lie to you and tell you like, yeah, I got, I got options, right? But I'm really fucking with you, right? I really want you to be the main one. So that's really what it's really about. It's the main one part that's making people yeah, think the like main one. the main one. But do you understand? Does that what mean the there main, are side dishes? No, but do you understand what the main one is? No, tell me what what the your main, version is. The, the main one is. The one that I'm building with, the one that I'm literally focusing my energy on and giving my time and energy to. That's mm-hmm. the the main one. You the main one. You you're you are like of course these these I have options. I have girls that are friends that I've never been. See, I don't know, my life different. Like I have female friends that I never did anything physical with that okay. I know I could also have a future with if I wanted to. Mm-hmm. Everything ain't for you know, you ain't gotta you ain't gotta knock down everything. So main one yeah. is the one, not necessarily the main no, one. It's the main one. It's what I said. It's the main one. See, we we all the ladies are confused how? in twenty twenty three. We're not understanding this new you, verbiage and terminology, like <laughs> because like, main one would, would make you think that there are other ones, options, but you're like home they're, base. They're like they're okay, so okay, I get what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I get what you're saying. But at the end of the day, it's like you still have to get to the phase of being like phasing out all of the other you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Situation. I don't know why women act like y'all don't do it too. Y'all be having options too. Y'all don't just meet that. a dude and be like, "All right, I'm dropping everybody." No, that's not how it no, works. No, sometimes we do. We do. Sometimes the, we do oh, put all our eggs in one basket. We do, but not immediately. Meaning, mm-hmm. like, okay, so say I meet you, you know what I'm saying, and then like we were talking for a week. So you're gonna tell all your other dudes you've been talking to that you really like, like yo, I, I, I started talking to somebody that I, I like. I'm, I'm, is, is over. I mean, a week is crazy. You know, we got we got to go through the That's talking phase for a little bit. A week but is crazy. But what if that man is like, "Yo, you the one for me," but you still might have <laughs> he, he ain't the you know he ain't the, he ain't the main one yet, but he could be the main one. Okay. Right or wrong? Could be. So I'm saying. Could That's be. That's what I mean. Okay. All right. So you can relate to that, huh? Absolutely. See it. it Yes, yeah. I, I, I <laughs> yes, absolutely. I actually, um, I take a polyamorous class because I, I just want to understand wait, wait, the thought wait, process behind it. Online or in mm-hmm. person? Yeah, she's called wow. the Poly Fairy. Are you interested in that? I'm interested in learning about it. Because you're interested in possibly experiencing it for yourself? Um, just because I know that there yeah. are times where I've wanted to explore outside of my relationship and I don't want to oh, feel wow. guilty for that. Like, Oh, wow, okay. Like, I'm coming home, you know, I just don't want to feel guilty. That. You know, It's not about me, though, it's about you. <laughs> Is that about me? Is yeah, it crazy? We get it from y'all. What you mean? It's no. crazy. Tiger yeah. Mike on. <laughs> no, listen, for sure. So you teamed up with Tiger and Lil Wayne, hip hop's anniversary. You know, we're turning 50 this year. Were you intentional with wanting to collab with hip hop artists or how did this come about? I did see that you were having a good time yeah. out in Cali and then you and Tiger end up going back to the studio and creating this hit. Yeah, man, we've been talking about working, about working for a minute, but it was definitely intentional to put another goat on there. Like, Wayne was intentional. You know what I'm saying? So he. You know, he got that text, I hit him, and he hopped on the record. So, you know, we you know, we did Crying Out for Me years ago, like on the mm-hmm. remix tip. Um, but I think like this type of record needed like just a different 
I, I just wanted something different on it, something fun. Bars like we ain't gonna come with bars that ain't nobody ever said before. Every time ain't gonna be no recycled bars. Like you know, he he just he one of them guys, he one of the ghosts. You had a performance in Atlanta yeah. recently over the weekend. Did anybody throw any Ooh. bras at you or draws or the 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 it was the far the stage was far away, <laughs> so they couldn't they couldn't get it on the stage. But a girl did hand me a bag full of stuff. I didn't even get it yet. I didn't even open a bag up. I don't know what's in there. Yeah, you might want to be careful. She, with that. she she gave me a bag and she was like, "Open this when you when you finish." When you, I don't know what's in there. She's trying to be the main one. I, I still got a closet. I, I still got stuff in stores from tour, like all types of stuff, clothes. Paraphernalia. Um, I got pennies. I got socks. I've got lip gloss. I've got condoms. I've got condoms. Yeah, because my fans they say they want. I want you to be safe when you out here, because I'm your baby mama. I'm the main one. I'm the main. Don't one. Don't bring me home. No, Listen, nothing crazy. No, they don't want you to get no other girl pregnant. Yeah, of course. Don't she bring like, me no babies. Yeah. <laughs> like, man. So you welcome crazy. the the bras being thrown <laughs> on stage. I welcome people expressing themselves. Just don't throw no not no hard items. Don't throw no water at yeah, me. Don't throw no water, no phone, no <laughs> no lip gloss, no lip, no whatever <laughs> eyeliner, none of that. Is don't Mario that. going on a solo tour? Can we expect that? So I'm going on a Champagne and Roses tour, and then uh, I got another single I'm dropping in January, and then an album I'm working on. So after the album, I'm touring off of that, off of the album for sure. That's like I'm actually that's like my my, my dream project, like doing that and then touring off of the project. I can't wait. When you come to Atlanta, what do you what do you expect? What do you think of Atlanta? You go from Just city fun. to city, but like, it's it's so black here. Like like, what do you think of it? What do I think of it? Mm-hmm. I think it's it's like it just takes me back to like when I first came to Atlanta when I was like twelve, thirteen years old. Like I was introduced to like sessions and like and 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 I was in a studio with Emmanuel Sill when he was working on Nice and Slow and doing the guitar on that for Usher, like. I don't know. I just it was just real music, just R and B and like soul, mm-hmm. you know, um, good food. Man, I got some good food, man. You gonna we eat do. good here? We you know do. what I'm saying? But you gotta work out though. You do. That's the thing. You do. If you come to Atlanta, you gotta be ready to eat and work out. Mm-hmm. Um, it's lit. You know, ain't no time of the day is gonna be boring. Like it's always something to do. Twenty four seven. Twenty four seven in Atlanta. Where you know do you pull saying? your inspiration from yeah. for your music? Is it like personal experiences? Is it stories that you're hearing from your other friends? Mm-hmm. It's everything. Sometimes it's just creativity and it's just creating things that I may want to experience or something that I may see, um, may have seen. Or it could just be like a real personal thing that I've been wanting to get off my chest. So the track just, it lends itself to a story that I haven't told yet. Um, but there's a lot of stories that I haven't told, you know, a lot of perspectives I haven't touched on. So that's why I'm excited about the project. We love to see it. Um, I am a forever Mario fan. I mean, I, I remember going to concerts, mm-hmm. being super young, and begging my mom to let me what go. What was your first concert? My first concert, you were with, I think it was B2K. Oh, Scream Tour. Yeah, it was B2K. That was actually the second concert I had ever been to wow. in my whole life. That's crazy. And um, I'm first generation American, so my mom was like, "Girl, you're not going to nobody's concerts. Right. You went no parties. You're not doing none of that." But you, you I was allowed to go. Oh, yeah, they let you go. You snuck to it. No, no, that I was scared of my mom. I wasn't sneaking to do anything at all. No, I was, no. she used to punch me, so I was scared. Wow. Yeah, like Your African mom mama like, punch. So you wait? Where you from? You're, you're Tigray. From? The, it's the northern region of Ethiopia. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so she wasn't having none she ain't of that. None of them no, 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 no. But I well, do I'm glad, appreciate I'm glad she let you come to my show. She you know, gave it's me a safe space. Yeah. Girl, you could be honest with me. <laughs> and it could be toxic with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's I a safe space. I think she heard space. her music and was like, he's wholesome. You can go. It's it's for not sure. crazy hip hop. You, you can go see this kid. <laughs> for sure. Thank you so much for stopping in. Can Good you job, please Mom. tell the fans like what they need to do to, to find you? Website. Easy. Con- I'm, I'm, I'm right on the ground. Mario Worldwide. Uh, my website, Mario. MarioWorldwide.com. Um, yeah, I'm on tour. Tour dates is up. The video is out. Just stay tuned. Tap in, man. We'll be back here in Atlanta for the Champagne and Roses store soon. So make sure you get your tickets if you try to pull up to the show, man. It's cuffing season. Come do right. Oh. Do the right thing, man. Do the right thing. We're going to be in the building doing, going crazy. He said it. Cuffing season. Not me. ATL is midday to Sue Solo. Away on Atlanta's number one hip-hop station, Hot 107.9. Yeah.